This is McCook's Mr. Billson. Honored to have you here. You know me. You know that I would never smoke a cigarette, and I never have. I've never drank a beer in my life. And I sure wouldn't do any drugs like marijuana that I'm standing beside. But this ditch, as most ditches in southwest Nebraska, have hundreds and hundreds of rows of marijuana. Down in that canyon, I bet I see a thousand marijuana plants. A thousand growing wild. That tells me two things. One, the state of Nebraska should legalize marijuana a hemp version of it, no drug in it whatsoever, to grow for industrial purposes. Canada's doing it, and they made a billion dollars this last year from doing it. It's time to step up and get ahead of the curve and start doing it here in Nebraska. I'm down here in a canyon within the city limits of McCook, and here's marijuana, just growing every which way. Now, I'm not promoting marijuana or the growth thereof marijuana, but rather hemp for the, state, for the state of Nebraska. Doesn't have any drug in it, and yet it grows very well. Less fertilizer, less water than corn, and some serious money. How serious? Well, Canada, they made a billion dollars off of hemp this last year. And again, it has no drug in it. Yeah, it looks like marijuana and has the basic concept of it, but no chemical drug in it to get you high. I hope we consider in the state of Nebraska allowing it to be legal and getting ahead of the curve instead of always being 20 years behind in most of the legislation in this nation. Now I know some of you will say, well, just let Canada do it and our companies will buy it and bring it down here, which they're presently doing at the tune of a billion dollars a year. But that's a billion dollars going out of this country that don't need to be. And no it doesn't mean that we have to lose production in wheat or corn or alfalfa or some other crop. Those can continue to grow on the land that they are. All I'm suggesting is the land that is set idle, getting paid by the taxpayers to grow nothing, and we have tens of thousands of acres just in this area of land that is paid to grow nothing. Use that to grow hemp, industrial hemp and make a real difference financially and perhaps get rid of some subsidies to the government subsidies to the farmers because they'll be making twice what they could on wheat or corn and with less fertilizer and less chemicals that means safer groundwater for us as well it would also mean more paper production which means we don't have to cut down these old growth forests that they're presently doing so many positive things could happen if we legalize industrial hemp. Rate this film. You guys have a good day.